Look how beautiful this is. And this monument called Wings. Dan perioada comunismului. Toți am dus o bine. Comunismul era pentru societate, pentru noi era cu adevărat Dumnezeu. I'm not going to waste your time with a boring introduction. Today we're just exploring Bucharest and we're on the lookout for structures, buildings, monuments and things that the former communist regime left behind and are still available to see to this day in a European capital of Romania. As you may know, like most of the Eastern Bloc, Romania used to be a communist country until 1989. It was never a Soviet country, although Soviet architecture is now to be seen pretty much everywhere. The communist propaganda was going very strong, and it was actually successful if you think about it. It made people to think that the dictator cared about them. It led them into a false sense of security. It sold them the idea that they didn't have to worry about tomorrow, that everything was being paid for, that work was being provided, houses were being provided, and everything was good. Cu toate că stăteam la colț câteodată. Dar dacă erai deștept, deștept. Trebuia să îți meargă minte. Aveam frigiderele pline, bani în prostie. Și băga la muncă pe toți, le dădea și case. Acum da. cine îți mai dă casă? This building was built in 1956 by the communists and of course it was used as headquarters for a newspaper called Skentea, the Spark. It was mainly used to spread communist propaganda and it was actually the first written form that it took back then. It says over here, wings, remembering the fighters who resisted communism. Microsoft, Bank of China. International corporations have offices here in these modern glass buildings here in Bucharest. But unfortunately, in order to get there, a lot of people had to lose their lives. And this monument called Wings is actually remembering those who lost their lives during communist years. This building is standing at 24 floors, 90 meters high, and when it was built back in 1971, it was the tallest building in Romania. Practicality was one of the reasons buildings were built like that. They wanted people to see that their money is well spent on practical buildings that are designed for use and not so much for the fancy architecture that you're going to see in the West. It was this strong opposition to the Western influences in terms of architecture. buildings built in the communist years of Romania are now showing signs of capitalism. International brands and corporations that people seemingly were so against of are now thriving here downtown Bucharest. Societate pentru noi era cu adevărat Dumnezeu, dar nu mai să fi avut, cum să spun eu, respect pentru el. Comuniștii își ofereau tot, 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 învățământ gratuit, concedii medicale, etc., etc. Trebuia să ai respect pentru comun. Astăzi sistemul mafiot își spune cuvântul. Vă urăsc sănătate! Mulțumesc! Mulțumesc! La revedere! I 
always disliked student dorms. But there's a good reason I'm here today. Look how beautiful this is. Damn. This over here is truly a reminder that Romania was a communist country and elements reminding us of the communist years still stand strong. Nowadays, literally strong because this is raw, concrete. What is it like to, to study here? Is it okay? Yes, it's okay. Are the dorms clean? How, how yeah, is the hygiene clean. like? In terms of street screen, uh, we have the cleaners mm -hmm. during the working days. In the weekend, they are not there. Mm, it seems to be somehow that in the bathrooms, the ah. washing machine. That's the ah. only one issue. Well, I'm glad you liked it. Thank you so much. <laughs> All right, good luck, yeah? Thank you. So apparently, the dorms are not too bad. Maybe it's just my, my reasoning seeing them so communist and so backward, so to say, that I'm thinking, okay, maybe it's, maybe it's a terrible place to live in, but, you know. Now tell me, what is the difference between Romania in 1980s and this place now in 2022? Like it literally looks like nothing has changed. Now if you're watching this vlog from, from a western country, pretty much anywhere else other than the eastern bloc, you might be used to student dorms being those cute little things with fairy lights and cuddly toys and whatever liquor bottles and whatever students are into nowadays. I sound like an old man. <laughs> but here is all about brutal beds that I can see through that window over there. You know, trying to get food, trying to get through your degree that you may like, you may not like. And don't get me wrong, I'm not saying it's a terrible place, it just looks like it. Now, these communist buildings look pretty interesting to us, but imagine having to live here. Being a student, perhaps you go on, a, on an exchange in a Western country, and then you come back to this, and you have to live here two, three more years till you finish your degree. Maybe you don't really like your degree. Your parents pushed you to come to this particular college, to this university, and then you end up with a degree that A, you don't want, and B, perhaps most Western countries will not recognize. Wow, so many places to see in just one day. And trust me, there are so, so many other places that are yet to be discovered that we haven't looked at. And hopefully, if you think I deserve it, maybe you'll consider subscribing to this channel and we're gonna be exploring them in future videos. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate you being here. See you later.